Hello everybody, Marie by Design here and today I've come back with a, another video as promised but it has been a while for me to get round to doing this video I do apologise because um, of other things as well so today, this is, you, you would remember a video I did and it was that picture and I said that I would be back to show you what I could do with my Boyer crayons. There is a video, uh, I think, where I did this and I was using my stamp pressing tool. And it's a stamp pressing tool that helps me get better um, printing designs. So, yeah, so... This is that video today of my Boya crayons. Now, these are my Boya crayons. I bought the old collection. I dare say, and I remember them saying that they would bring back more colours. And I think, I can't quite be sure of that, but. I'm sure they said that they were going to make bring more colours out and yeah so um, the Boyer crayons now Boyer the name Boyer it's back to front on camera but that does say Boyer B O Y A and that does say crayons but it's back to front because I'm on camera Okay, now Boya in Croatia, where these are made, is colour. That's what Boya means in Croatia, it means colour. Okay. Okay, you've got a slide away sleeve, which is really nice. I've got We've got 20 crayons there. Um, I think you can get them in smaller packs of four or two. Go and check the uh, check out on um, the website for Hobby Maker because this is where I purchased these because I live in the UK. I didn't get them from Croatia. I got them off Hobby Maker. If they've got any packs left, I'm not sure, but these were a considered purchase, and I think I paid some flexi pays on them. So they say that. So go and check that website out, I'll be maker.co.uk, um, or you can download the app on your mobile phone. Okay, so go and check that out. It says on here, not a food, do not eat. Well, you wouldn't anyway. Uh, adult supervision required. So if your children want to have a go, then it recommends that you have adult supervision. Okay. Um, you can draw outside the lines with them. That's what it's got on the box. But you can paint with them. Um, sorry. What I mean by paint with them is you paint as you draw. But they said you can't use water, you can't use them as watercolour paints. But I'm going to attempt today to do something completely different. I don't know if anybody's tried this. But I'm going to give this a go. I wanted to see if it worked. Which means I'm going to have to carve off a bit of the Boya crayon to do it. Using my alcohol blending solution. I know this sounds daft. But I'm thinking... This might, this is meant to be used with your um, inks and blend them and your patinas to blend them. Um, 
okay so i'm going to have a go at doing that and see if i can make a paint with them i'm going to pull the camera down now this is going to be exciting if this does work but i can't guarantee it i'm going to experiment okay so i'm going to pull my camera down now and i'm going to show you what i'm doing that's as far as my camera will go okay well for you to see this i'm going to have to move my um camera round that's more like it right you can see that okay okay right this is my picture as i say in one of my videos where i was using my stamp pressing tool now uh first of all i will show you how to colour with them okay and now to get a uh how to what what they say is is how to paint with them but you're not actually using a paintbrush but i've got that because i want to do that technique okay so let me show you the crayons they've got boyer on them they're like a teardrop i would say a tear sh drop shape crayon now because i have dexterity problems they feel very comfortable in my hands they are a wax crayon but i'm going to see if they will do what i wanted to do in a minute okay um oh i haven't got any water up here i was going to try and see if it says you can't watercolor them i'm going to try that as well in a minute and i'll i'll show you what i mean okay so this is a yellow crayon you have metallics in this box as well as well as um call your colors you have metallics and the metallics are the gold copper is that that one or is it a bronze and you have a silver one okay so I'm, so this is how i i watched the video you've got this point here flat surface okay and then you've got a thicker end there and going down you've got a point you're supposed to now <laughs> I just, i'm just gonna what's it on some color i don't know whether you can see that you're supposed to be able to I think it's and bring it up onto the point and as you use them it does say in the video um you're sharpening them as well so you can do that and as you're using them can you see that where i've gone and used them and it's it's almost sharpening them again okay i highly recommend these boyer crayons but as i say they are a considered purchase i would recommend them because i have problems with my fingers um holding things and they're very comfortable I think that's why they were designed like this for people who have got dexterity problems uh, for people who have problems with their hands I think that's why they were designed um, but I think there's a Boyer video on YouTube go and watch that and the lady that designed them she talks you through them I'm just a consumer that bought them a crafter that bought them because I thought, oh, I wonder what else you could do with them. So I went and bought all of them. But, um, yeah. Let 
let's use another one and then they, they have this lovely slot for you to slot it back into and they also have this detail on the end so you could hang them up if you've got hooks on your wall in your craft room you could hang them up out the way it's very good very good design um next that's my yellow if you can see that which you can good it's showing up on camera okay i'm gonna next use my um because i'm trying to write uh i don't know if these blend well let me see this is another one i'm thinking of blending thinking of coloring with the crayons and then carving some off and mix some on my mat uh craft mat and see if if they do do something with that i'm just thinking will it melt the crayons the wax crayons will it melt the wax crayons with that i don't know yet nobody i don't think anybody's tried that one out but right i want to get some blue down here so which one should i use should i use that one or should i use like um pale blue uh, i'm gonna use that one yeah i'm gonna use that one which is i mean it doesn't tell you in the box what they are colors they are it's like a turquoisey on camera it's showing you that it looks like it's light blue but it's actually like a turquoise color showing it's blue on camera but it where i'm looking it's turquoise okay i'm going to color down here now and i'm going to go a bit over my yellow and see if they um blend okay i'm going to go about there on my yellow <gasps> oh that's a nice color and as you're using them because they're a wax it looks like this texture on your paper it looks like it's giving some texture and there's light light colors and um they're supposed to be i don't know what she used uh, like a pastel i think that's what she called it like a pastel pastel they've got that type of um they've got like a waxy uh, feel like pastel color pastel or whatever she, term of phrase she used but if you rub you know how some colors can come onto your skin i'm just rubbing my hands on there and seeing if i get any color on my skin ah now i have got a little bit oh no i haven't that must be a thing in my underneath my skin then where i press too hard hang on can you blend like a pastel actually i think you can if you wanted to blend them and make them look more softer do they it looks like they have you know looks like you can do this you know you would do with pastel yes look so that's why she said they're like a pastel because you can get some of the color off so yeah you can you can make it look smoother if you do that and blend it in you can blend it in so it is a bit like a pastel but they're in a wax form will it do it if i wanted to do the sky and blend it in So will they blend yes they do blend 
and you can make your work look softer there's not much come off on the yellow but with the blue yes but yes you can blend now that looks like it's blended more okay so i've got that so i was thinking of a sunset yellow sky so you could i mean i'm no artist but the products i use turn me into an artist i can't draw but the things i use like my ink pads and my stamps they turn me into an artist when i was at school um i tried to draw and tried to do things um even though i was picked out one of the days uh, by my teacher to do like um, a front cover for something i did kind of do it okay but not accurate and i think drawing takes a lot of practice and you know doing different techniques but there are tools out there to help you to start if you ever want to do drawing or painting there are products there to help you but this is good because i don't usually do stuff like this but this is really really good and yes they will blend with your fingers as well so you could do that but that's a nice colour so i'm thinking that this is my c down here so really i'm building a picture um but as i say i'm not an artist okay that's my blue oh hang on i'm in a bit of trouble getting that one in oh it's because i've put it round the wrong way yeah it's because i put it round the wrong way i think is it no I did have it in oh I've not pointed it down enough that's okay right so that's my C and gone the C has dark colors in it and light colors in it doesn't it it has different types of blues in it and greens and okay so I'm going to use this one now this one on camera I'm looking at it and it's it's blue it's like a um, dark blue where I'm viewing, but it's lighter on the screen. I don't know why my camera's grainy, but I, I don't know. I've just tried to alter it and it looks grainy. I don't know what that is. Um, okay, I'm going to add this on the bottom. So as you can see, you can add your colours and go up into the other one. And just add that so my C has got all this in okay and this is how you can paint with them and you can blend them okay so that is as i say i really love these i'm glad i've got them out now um okay let's have a go at um oh that's the other way one's going in one direction the other's going in the other right i'm going to blend this a bit to make it look a bit more softer so they do blend So they are similar to a pastel and see you've got blue off on that as well okay so that's my C that's my uh, kind of yellowy sky now let me put some um, blue into that yellow I'm gonna and now for drawing with them okay uh, yeah there we go I'm going to hang on 
have I got a 10 pence piece no um, I need a circle because I'm not very good at drawing circles on their own so I need something that's going to ah oh, right okay I'm going to put that up there Just one moment while I go and get a pencil. I won't be long because I'm not very good at drawing. Okay, right. Now, here's my pencil. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to draw a sun oh, I hope this works because as I say I'm not very good at drawing circles Actually, I think, oh gosh, that's a bit scruffy. Never mind. But you get the you get the general idea. Okay. You get the general idea. <laughs> I'm not very good. Um, right, now. Let's put, let's, um. Um, uh, yeah, I was thinking of using um, white. See, there's a white one in here as well. Now, that shows up really white on camera, but it, it's not. It's like an off white from where I'm looking. Uh, that's my yellow. Okay, let's just go back in my yellow. Put a bit more yellow up there. Okay, it's my yellow. Now this is my white. Now I don't know why I want white, but never mind. Um, ah, now I've put some white on there. just rub just rub the yellow again just blend it into your picture can see that moon that sun but I'm gonna have a go now at putting um, some yellow well orange that one's orange and it's looking quite orange here on there it looks like a light orange okay I'm just going to um, just gonna just see you can do that on the point to color it in it's 
you can colour with them on the point so you can colour with them on the um, tip So this is just basic drawing. I'm not very good at drawing, as I say, but if you do that and smooth it out, it's not so rough. So like a pastel, as I said, just blending my sun so it looks softer instead of heavy. Okay. There we go, what I'll do for that, just to show you, as I say, you can, you can sharpen your crayon, see where I've coloured with that, you can make it a different colour, now, that's not bad actually, I think, <laughs> so, as a, you know, what's it, um, this first attempt's not bad, I suppose. Um, as for drawing, that was colouring. That's, you know, this is a, this is um, my black boy crayon. Okay. Um, let me just see. You can make draw lines with it, so you can draw. So if you use the black coloured one. Let me see if I can get some paper to show you because I don't want to put it onto my, uh, well actually, yeah, that one's a bad one. See, I did that as well. See, I didn't draw that, but it looks like I did, doesn't it? Right, this is for lines. See, look. Let me see. See, so you can draw with them, write with them. You can write with them, as I say. Now, I'm not going to jump straight into calligraphy because I cannot do that. And neither do I want to even bother with calligraphy because... It's a lot of a big technique to learn. There you go. Now, back to front, that looks like, doesn't it? Marie by design. See, so you can, you can write with them. So good for people that just want to colour in black because it's almost, you know, you could look make it look like it's charcoal, I suppose. I don't know. That's just my general. Anyway, so you can write with them. So I've done that. I've done blending. I've done writing. I've done colouring. I've done draw, painting with them. Now, for my last thing I wanted to do, okay, so this little picture i did if you remember go back and watch that video the stamp press tool okay right now for this this is what i wanted to do because they're saying you can't watercolor with them but i'm just thinking i mean my logic might not be right here so don't <laughs> don't don't um you know uh pick me too pick 
pick me up on it too much this is what I've just got an idea of doing now I'm going to be a bit naughty now I'm only going to take a little bit off but I'm going to just slice some off using my craft knife okay and I'm going to put some crayon onto my mixing mat be very careful don't let children do this because one it's a sharp no I'm just being very very careful okay there's my um, brush so that's what I should have done really shouldn't it I should have used my brush right there's some push that to the middle right now I'm just going to see now and I haven't took too much off so that sliced off really nicely now I'm not saying this is going to work so don't pick me up on it but I'm trying a different technique now if this works I've opened I would have opened a new a new technique okay I've added some Boya wax crayon to my mixing mat I'm going to add a tiny bit of solution this may work it may not two drops that's all I've added of my blending solution this is alcohol blending solution I was thinking perhaps the alcohol would make it mix that's what I'm thinking let's have a go let's see well I'm telling you now it's the alcohol is breaking down the pigment of the wax crayon so something's working with the blending solution it's breaking the uh, wax down and yet they said you couldn't you couldn't watercolor with them I think not watercolor but it's definitely breaking it's definitely breaking the wax down yeah I'm definitely breaking the wax down there's definitely pigment on my brush off the wax crayon so let's have a go at painting now and you saw how many drops I added of my Tim Maltz blending solution and it says alcohol on it and you see it's gone on my brush okay and it's broke the wax down and I'm just going to paint these flowers now it is it is putting some color on it is putting some color on well my idea then has worked I don't know if anybody's tried this but I found it's worked and it's painting it is painting the color on so these are supposed to be wax pastel crayons that was what I was thinking you see the like a pastel that was what I was thinking I'll show you in a minute you can probably can you see that color that I've just added so now go try it I found this new technique out just and you saw how it broke the wax crayon down didn't you you can't actually use water I don't think that would work but I've used blending solution to paint with and to uh, in the terms of watercolor but not using watercolor I would say alcohol coloring that's my new technique and as you can see as painted it on so yay 
It did exactly what I was thinking it did. Yeah. So, yeah, you can do it. And so now the colouring stopped. So I think if I was to add some more um, alcohol solution, there you go, blending solution. They're not alcohol. I think if I was to do that, it would extend it even more. So I could paint some more with it. Yep. Yeah. Add some more solution onto it. I mean, I'm not painting with, I'm not using watercolour card. And this is just very, very thin card and it hasn't come through. That colour hasn't come through to the other side. So it isn't going to soak, it isn't going to soak your paper like it would if you're using water. You couldn't use water on this, but you could use this and these to paint with using that technique that I've just showed you. As I say, I don't know if anybody's in, um, done this, but they did say you couldn't, you couldn't watercolour with them. But I've painted with them using my alcohol solution, blending solution carved off some of the wax with this and then the alcohol blend solution broke the wax down and I was able to paint with it yeah it won't keep your brush wet for long so if you wanted to extend that colour then you would need more blending solution and of course more colour but yeah it does it's on my brush so excited let's carve some more off and do some more because I want to paint all of that um, I want to paint all of that flower before I end this video so my theory was correct my theory was correct then and you just scrape it off very finely but as i say don't let children do this because it's not for children okay but yeah so I don't know if you can use water. They said you couldn't watercolour with them. They're not for watercolouring. But as it doesn't take much off your crayon. But there we go. I've got some more colour. You saw how easy it was to get the colour off. Now for painting onto fabric. I don't know. Yeah, you'd, I'd need some more of my blending solution. Okay. And um, make sure it does smell a bit, so make sure you've got some ventilation. But yeah, let's just. Um, a bit smelly right I've got that on okay I'm gonna paint some more of my flower you have to act quick with this because the alcohol does evaporate so anyway as you can see I'm painting with that okay it may leave a bit of wax behind but once that's dry you could just brush that off now As you can see, I've painted all of my flower. But 
but as I say it is it does melt down the wax your alcohol 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 solution does melt down the wax so as you can see it does work okay so that is a technique which I have just thought about and it does work and it's like looking outside the box isn't it all I can say is give it a go now that has worked and that demonstration was very successful but yeah now I don't know what it's going to be like once it's dried on my brush now I'm going to just get a cup of water right I'm just going to go and get myself a cup of water there is still some wax in that but as you can see my theory was correct there you go now I think if you then just blend it with your finger yes yeah, see the the wax is still there so there is a bit of a waxy feel to it but I don't know what it's going to feel like when it's dry that's the thing but I think that bit of wax on there, still on there, gives it some texture. And that's painting with. See, it's given it a bit of texture actually. I like that. See those dark bits? That's the wax. And on uh, that's given me some texture. To my flower made it dark and light okay and as you can see I've still got some um, wax on here but I would say they're like a, a pastel okay so I'm just going to get a cup of water now and I'm just going to show you if that will wash out and see if I get any colour in my water and I'm thinking we couldn't watercolour with them that's alcohol blending solution so can you can you actually use them like that yes you can so I think I'm I may be the first to have discovered that I don't know there could be a video out there but when I looked the other day there wasn't any videos of, the, of somebody doing that so I've just discovered that so let me now just go and get a mug a cup of water just one moment and see if i can wash it out of my brush and see if we have any color left right everybody this is a mug of water now i'm going to attempt to rinse my brush off and see what i get see if i get anything in the water 
then it will tell me whether or not yes or no no you can't so no they are right you can't watercolor it but you saw me so no there's no water there's no color come off the brush and the wax uh, set on my brush so to get that off now yeah no the like waxy pigment has settled on my brush yeah just as a thought yeah you can't watercolor with them they are right you can't they won't watercolor but if you want to try the technique um no as you can see there's no you know how you'd get paint color there's no paint color in there there's just wax so it goes back to wax so no you can't watercolor with them but as i say i've been able to color like watercolor with my alcohol solution blending solution and as you can see and then it's left it's left like a waxy feel on onto it which is quite nice i think it gives it a fuzzy effect like you've used um felt that's what i'm interpreting it to be okay so so everybody if you like today's video please subscribe and thanks for watching bye bye for now